We're going to start here with a piece of material. It's got five different sized holes in it. Uh, we've got a one millimeter hole, two, four, eight, and sixteen millimeter hole. So we want to dimension these hole sizes. First thing we'll do is to make it face us. Now down here there's a handy little tool. If we click on the vertical axis it will make it point towards us like so. Now we'll select the dimensioning tool up here and it if we zoom out we'll see there's a plane here that is put a an anot plane on for us so we can go ahead and start dimensioning we'll do the smallest hole first here click on the edge click on once and it sometimes takes a while for it to take a hold nothing's happened so far do it again there we are so we've got a one millimeter hole click, drag, two, click, drag, four, now then if we click and go there, we have an 8mm hole and there we have a 16mm hole, <coughs> oh, pardon me, now this 1mm hole, the arrows are too big to separate themselves in the in the hole and they're overlapped so if they are clicked upon left click once there we have just the one arrow pointing to the outside if we click it again it points to the inside now, I don't know what purpose that could be used for I've certainly not used it in any of my engineering drawings but nevertheless it's there if anybody wants to use it click it again and we point it to either side now that's also a conventional style I've used that a lot click it again and we get rid of the inner line and once more and we're back to the start now for small holes I think I like that style best oops escape now on the two millimeter hole we have adopted the style with two inner pointing arrows which is quite normal and again we can have the various styles if we click on the arrow we can have a single arrow pointing to the outside click it again we point to the inside there we have two hour arrows pointing to the outside and click it again it removes the, the line I like the, the first one for that so I would like that I would also quite like this style for the four millimeter shift and drag with the scroll wheel I also think that this is a good style for the 4mm size hole and I like this style for the 8mm size hole now you can change that by left clicking on the dimension going to the border and we've got four arrows pointing up down left and right click and hold and drag and we can drag out and put the dimension outside of the hole itself click to get rid of the box and then we can go through the various styles that we want with that style personally I like it inside so we can once more drag it in and it becomes inboard to the hole and the same of course with can happen to 
this large one that style is ideal for me so it can be moved around by clicking and dragging the dimension it always seems to be horizontal uh, there does not seem to be a way of aligning the actual value with the dimensioning line I have not found any way of doing that if somebody else does please let me know now we can see over here that we've got a properties box for the arrows so if we were to specify a particular dimension so this big one here we can change various items I do have another video which shows how to change the actual fonts of the dimension so we'll not go into that I'll just demonstrate how to change the terminators themselves so at the moment we've got the default which is click on the on the default line here and choose from the drop-down memory uh, it so happens that the default is the close field so if we select that nothing changes or if we select the open we've now got open arrows so there are various arrows here can be used you can use the oblique depending on your company's style of dimensioning you can use the ones on offer here circle or you can go back to the default you can also choose the length and width default looks as though it's 2.5 millimeters so I've changed it to 2.5 nothing has changed with the arrow but if we make it 5 change that to 5 millimeters we've now got a long skinny pointer back to, back to default width default is 0 0.6 so if we change that to 1.2 we've got a short fat arrow back to default and also we can change the measurement style from diameter to radial so that changes it to a radius pointer decimal precision is at the moment three now although it's eight I think it should show three trailing zeros 8.000 it doesn't seem to do that well I would assume that if the dimension was 8.436589 it would show the first three significant places of that so no doubt we can make that more if we wanted to and change that to a 4 does not seem to change this at all but uh, perhaps I should put a, a more accurate dimension in there to demonstrate it also we have tolerances that we can use upper limit if we said that was 0 0.01 lower limit minus 0 0.01 and it's plus minus and so we've got limits of plus and minus Zero zero one, various types we can use. 
plus minus symmetric plus and minus 0 0.01 limits 8.01 and 7.99 usual sort of thing so there we are there's how to perform some dimensions for hole sizes hope that can get you started hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe bye